Ryan had to say I had a long road back if you fear me. This is number one bullshit. Absolutely, man. I'm about to give him coast to coast ass with him. I'm gonna make him go face down ass up once again. It's the air of it all, baby. Oh my god. What is up, everybody? It's your boy, your host. Oh my god. Excuse me, I just took a massive rip from the, the Bob bomb Hot D big fucking massive bong that we have here sitting in front of us. Welcome to the to the Airs of the Dog Show, episode 24, sponsored by New View Pharma, also sponsored by rtfsportsnetwork.com. Catch us live Monday at 6, Thursdays at 8, I'm sorry, 7, Ooh, no, 8, 8 to 9. Yeah. You know we probably never get that right. I know. I'm always stoned when we start the podcast. <laughs> it is what it is, that in thing, my opinion. That thing's cherry right now, buddy. <laughs> should I hit, should should I I hit that? Should but I welcome to the show, episode... I, did I already say that? Episode 24. It is the 24th we're here. episode we're doing. Yeah. And uh, we, we, we're we uh, recording this podcast <laughs> for a second time. Um, we had a little bit of a technical difficulty. Dylan's taking a massive rip. You, you definitely have to baby carry that thing. It's intimidating. <laughs> the bong really is like ten pounds. It's a it's a solid yeah. You could do goblet scots with it. That's oh yeah, for get sure. Good workout. <laughs> you could probably get big as shit with that thing. Oh, just holding it, <laughs> holding it by the doing what do, whatever. What do you call that the body. It is kind of like a mace, right? Sure. One of the some of them mace, but I, oh, like I bet it snap mace? right. Yeah, it's huge yeah. though. Big, big shit. Big shit. We're, it's the, we call it the bob bomb. Uh, hot D bong because it looks like uh, Bob Bomb from Mario. Yeah, yeah, we call it a few things. What did you call it before? I called it D Snyder. <laughs> yeah, because Diesel, the fucking company who makes it is called Twisted Sister. Twisted I guess. Sister. Yeah. yeah, it we covered it with the Hot D sticker. Did. Yeah. But anyway, welcome we got on. plenty of stickers. You, you guys, sticker. you guys all need to to jump on all these other podcasts that are on RTF Sports Network. Um, we have Infinity Sports. We have the Mike and Mike Show. Um, tons of uh, awesome, crazy, cool guys talking about sports um, like us. So make sure to check them out as well. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna probably be doing some collabs with a lot of the other shows. Um, they they just rolled out a little whiskey thing um, a couple days ago. Did you see this? I, I just no. invited you to the RTF Sports page. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I did see the page. Um, sorry. I'm muting my phone. Man, um, forget your phone. Forget it. But anyways, yeah, they're doing a uh, whiskey review. And I was like, what the hell? How do we miss out on that? So next time, we're definitely there. Because we fucking love whiskey. Well, that and we're good at fucking talking about it, too. You know what I mean? It's not like It's not just like we're good at drinking it you and yeah. i are we're both we're good, good at ex- about expressing it. our thoughts sure articulating our, our thoughts articulation is a great thing you and verbal i verbal judo possess. yeah what was that i don't was that I a thought, ghost i thought that was i think that was a ghost moving on so ufc 251 we talked about it a couple of days ago but dylan didn't have any audio and that's my dumbass mistake but we still so, had a great conversation and that's still a thing that happened i agree I agree fully, but I think overall we need I wasn't to do a, upset. A, a, uh, I was. I was mad at myself. I think we needed to do talk about that. Um, you you set yourself to a higher standard. No, I'm. I'm talking. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I guess sure. Is this a? Is this a? Uh, this is all Jesus? on you. No, this no, ain't I me. I was just saying. I was you. just saying. I think. Um, I don't know. I, I talk too much, man, and I like to fucking put my shit out there. I don't it's think like, you talk too much. I'm good at talking. I'm and a that's good why listener. I want to do this as, I think as that's a job. Works. Yeah, I mean, some people could take that as a bad thing, but no, I'm good at talking. No, 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 no. Yeah, you are good at talking. Yeah. So, anyways, there's a there's a we chance that um actually there's no chance it definitely happened. Um, Dylan and I um, recorded the podcast, and I and I covered this in a live video on our. Uh, facebook page just to make sure that everybody knew what was going on and uh slight oversight man just uh you know got everything set up perfectly ready to go had our outline you know this whole podcasting thing is uh not all it's uh made out to be as easy as it looks and uh i just uh didn't record dylan's audio at all (laughs) yeah so we're here and i apologize 
<laughs> Happens sometimes to the best of us. I fucking apologize. <laughs> You're for real crying. I don't even want to be here anymore. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> it just. <laughs> you, remember, you remember as a kid getting ever that worked up where you threw up? Oh yeah, you feel that like your diaphragm just start slowly taking over your upper part of your body. You start just kind of like convulsing. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> your way isn't. Oh yeah, pink. you're legit having a tiny kid anxiety attack. Yeah, it's got to be it. I mean, that's what it is. You just downplay it as panic an adult. attack. Sure, you're making you're freaking yourself out. Calm yeah. down, kid. And you know you are for attention sometimes. For exactly. Some I kids. still do that though to today. <laughs> With Jeremy, it's a very good tactic. You, you yeah. just kick your feet on the couch until he wants to go out for wild wings and beers. Wild wings, wild wings. Just fucking kick your feet against the table and cry. Have an anxiety attack. <laughs> I don't care that he has to work. Yeah. Why would I care? So anyway, speaking of wings, we went to Rhinos for two fifty one, and uh, Matthew McCann was with us. Good, good buddy of ours, a lifelong friend of mine. Um, hashtag BGDT. I'm gonna name him. The- I don't know what's going on. What is that? Oh, it's a progressive commercial. The fuck? It was just playing in one of our uh, open tabs here. Oh, it was God. Yeah, it was God from Car Insurance Company. I'm gonna name Matt the Wing King. I don't know. I think the Hot I think, Wing King. I don't think he's proven himself yet. You don't think? On Hot Wings? No, I think he definitely needs more. Um, Are you saying you can take hotter thing? Me? Hotter wing? Hotter sauces? Well, yes, I think. Well, will then you Matt? get more of a reaction than me, or than Matt? Or will you get more of a reaction out of me than Matt? Absolutely. I want your sympathy, bro. I want you to see that I'm hurting, and I want you to tell me that it's okay. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm a t- it's a team mentality. It's, it's, hey, I'm doing this for your entertainment, so let me know that I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> but do you need to know that you're okay in the moment? Sure, because sometimes when you're in the moment, you convince yourself that you're not. We're talking about eating hot, hot, hot wings. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And many a times people have died from eating hot wings. I don't know if that's true. Uh, Regardless. Even if it is, yeah, even if it's not. (laughs) Okay. It's one of those things now where it's out in the ether and it's it's real. Yeah. You could have died. I could have died. But I... But Rhino's fucking ventured out. on for your own fucking. So we get to Rhino's and get to. Because we're going to go watch 251. Yeah. Life is good. Get to Rhino's. And I had no idea you guys were going to go, hey, can we have the hottest wings you have? Well, I didn't know that was the plan either until. Matt just goes, up. fuck it. And I'm a yes man. You definitely are. Immediately made the snowball bigger. Yeah. Yep. I was. I'm the kid, and hey, I back the out snowman. And then you know, I'm like, I'm the kid inside because it's fucking snow snowing. Machine. You know, yeah. yeah. No, I do like snow. I yeah. play in the snow. Like, who wants to make a? Who wants to make a snowman? Like Johnny's but getting the skid like, loader. Why? Why? Yeah, that's me, bro. Nah, yeah, it is you. But regardless. It was still a good time, but did you die though? But did that's, you die though? Yeah, that's my, that's how I live life, really. The waitress talked you out of the the hottest, hottest initially. She tried to, and then, you know, Matt enough and to I's make you guys order the banter. second hottest. Sure, but I think yeah. I think Matt and I's banter, you know, I think yeah. it, it, it was it became a dick measuring contest for me at that point, and I think Matt accepted the second hottest. Matt handled them fine. Sure. But he said they were hot. Yeah, but I wasn't prepared for the... For the... Uh, my my, you my a mental bit. preparedness for the hottest hot wings was, I'm going to throw up. You know? Because I've been you there planned before. planned on it. Because I've been there before. I've had hot fucking wings that were so hot that I fucking threw up because they were... And I only had like two or three of them. And I... 
regurgitated the chicken because <laughs> the food was too fucking hot. Do you remember the this by Arizona? No. This was in Colorado, my fucking junior or senior year, and it was with Caleb. Of high school. Yeah. yeah. It was a fourth hour off. It was Matt's Wings. It was this fucking local, you know, mom and pop shop out in Falcon. And we just went there during our off period and me and me and Caleb like to do that same thing. Go and eat hot wings and do the challenges and shit. And we were like, we want your guys' hottest wings. A high school and sober they, shit. Oh, very. Yeah. Yeah. Not even stoned, really. Because no. we were, we, I mean, couldn't get it out in Falcon, you know? It was a scarcity to get real weed. More people smoke spice than they did weed in Falcon. Spice. Holy yeah, shit. Dude. But anyways, we were at this Matt's wing spot and <laughs> Caleb, Caleb and I were both very much that like if we wanted to challenge each other to see if we could make it through it, you know what I mean? And, uh, <laughs> we, take, we take, you know, like the fucking 10 wing challenge or 15 wing challenge or something like that. We each get fucking 10 or 15 wings each. You do like those challenges, don't you? Oh dude, they're, it's it's more of an experience than anything. I'm not trying to really feed my ego by saying, yeah, I finished stuff. I don't talk about it afterwards. Did you end up doing the, I remember when we were in on the river walk in San Antonio, one of those times, I think it was in between, it was probably our, our, one of the early, earlier times. Like first tech school. You remember? Or no, you, I didn't know you when I went through tech school. No. The first time. Yeah. This yeah. was either when I came to visit or, Cadham, it was school, probably, Cadham School? I don't think, I think it probably was before Cadham. Okay. So, Pretty close to, yeah, probably before Cadham. Ever, whatever. But remember the the fucking, uh, the uh, uh, restaurant, Charlie Wants a Burger, that little dog? Yes, we did it. Yes, we did do it. Yeah. Did you do that challenge? Yeah, we did. I just it remember I just remember being floored that you were attempting it. Well, we were like, already wasted. You said he, well, yeah, dude, you know what gets me fucked up every time on the river walk there? Me? Remember we saw cuz we saw somebody else doing it that day, too. Yes. Cuz we were like, "Oh, fuck, that's you, a that's challenge. a thing?" Yeah, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm going to do it." This is a shitload of food. Yeah, and basically. Weimer was Weimer with us? No. Or who else was with us? That's what I'm trying to think cuz that would make a difference. It was of what time period? Alec was with us. Probably was it was it was early? It when, was it uh, Jim? Was it fucking Uncle Steve? Uncle Steve and, early in the day, Uncle Steve. Yeah, that's what it was. Had to have been because we went to the Riverwalk, and you were in Cadham School. Mm-hmm. Bro, yep, that's that's when it happened. We were hammered by fucking ten a.m. on the Riverwalk because of the every time that what gets me there because it's always hot as shit is the frozen, the amazing, world's best. Frozen Margaritas, Texas. Oh, yeah. San Antonio, Texas. River Walk, dude. Oh, they're so fucking good. So good. And then we Where, find the what fish is the name bowl of, that fucking restaurant? of tequila. Or a Charlie wants a burger. No, no, no. Where we got the fucking frozen mar- the the 12 shot of tequila margarita. So that's different. You can you can get a frozen margarita oh, anywhere on the freeway. You can get the frozen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was talking about the big one. Bro, that is insane. The big one? The fucking fishbowl? Yeah, the one that we have. The that you have to you have, you have to, to have share with someone? Another person, yeah. And we sucked that fucker down in like 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. We just took straws. Yep. That's what's and, fun. And got a fucking bowl of fucking tortilla chips. And then walked the rest of the fucking river walk. What about the... Fuck the ducks, feed the fishes. That was the no, fuck the ducks, really feed found, the people. Yeah, because you really found out your Stallone. That's yeah. what you were using your Stallone. Yeah, I was walking on. down the room. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Hey, you doing? Hey, how's it going? Telling everybody. Hey, how you <laughs> I got a you fuck a palm of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> when you was a baby, I could fit you in the palm of my hand. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it ain't life. I can never fucking I can never say that full quote without fucking laughing and then getting it out afterwards. I just remember dying. He's just like, life, life ain't always going to be sunshine and rainbows. It's going to be hard 
and it'll kick you to your knees and keep you there if you let it. If you let it. <laughs> if you let it. <laughs> like, if you let it. I love it. It's so about good. him or her or anybody. <laughs> dude. Yeah, did you ever see that dude that uh, tried to give that speech naturally on a fucking reality show when he got voted off? Did someone call him out? <laughs> yeah, he's like, isn't that Rocky? <laughs> How he was like shirtless, and he was like, it was like a, on a beach. And he was like this fucking super Chad guy. He was like, sure. Well, life ain't always gonna be sunshine and rainbows. And rainbows. <laughs> and people are all looking around, like, does he not know that we all know what he's talking about? <laughs> he's the only one who's seen yeah. that Rocky movie. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, the springs. I oh. like those little springs. Though. They they get a little springy sometimes. Yeah, they keep they keep the tension. I keep it nice. So anyway, moving in, uh, we kind of, whoa, super long first tangent, but whatever. Back on to 251. Um, that was the story of uh, the yeah, Rhinos. Yeah, long story short, yeah, long if we story didn't finish short. that, the hottest, hottest wings weren't shit. Yeah, at Rhinos. They're, they're not. They're trash. They're not. Uh, and, and, and if they want to, you know, retaliate, we'll go back, because we're definitely going to go back for another UFC fight there. And we're going to say this, and if they listen to the podcast, they'll, you know, They'll jump on their shit and fucking make their hot wings hotter. Yeah. But now, if they make them hotter, it's because of us. You know, and they have to name it after you. Yeah, they're now the hot. You hot and wings. Matt, Johnny Matt, Johnny Matt Hot Wings. That's a stupid name. Come up with something better, Maddie John. Write it down, Johnny Matt. I don't know, Johnny think Matt Hot Wings. It. Think it. Think on it. Damn, Amanda Rebus. Amanda Rebus versus Paige Van Zandt. Fun fight. If you like quick fights. Sure. <laughs> if you had somewhere to be. Yeah. Yeah. It was... We all knew. I don't know. I like Joey Diaz uh, saying about Paige Van Zandt. What do you say? He says it about a lot of people, but he said it about her. This fight card, he says, I've never seen a bookie with a part-time job. Ooh. Right? Isn't that a song? Yeah. And it's true, right? She's got a, she's got a fucking... Yeah. She's... Her Instagram, she says her she makes more money on Instagram. Yep. So, UFC is your part-time job. Yep. Sorry. Fucking sure. good luck winning fights, I guess. Well, I mean, she's really not taking training seriously from what her social media... I think she's probably done. Well, yeah, honest. exactly. Like, yeah. she didn't look like she was ready to fight either. No, yeah. no. Well, especially <clears throat> now with Amanda Rebus. Fucking, she's a for real fighter. Well, yeah, bro. She's on... She's, like, new. She's, like, young gun female division ready to fucking come and take the belt from somebody. Jiu-Jitsu. She's Brazilian, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Sharon Bar- she got a Shire. hell of a lot of publicity after this fight, bro. Because she, she fucking put Paige Van Zandt what, from, I don't know. I don't uh, know why people she... get fucking clout after beating Paige Van Zandt. It's like, you okay, you beat a pretty girl. No, the only re- yeah, that's the only reason why she had done. She's really pretty. Why'd they want, pretty they want her to be good so bad. <laughs> yeah, it's like, God she would be so fun to watch if she was good. <laughs> She'd be a superstar. Oh, yeah. She's still fun to watch She'd when she gets movies, beat. She'd have movies, you know? Oh, yeah. 100%. But she's not. If she was a champion, she'd be in movies right now. Yeah. Well, she she wanted to be what Dana wanted Ronda to be. Right. It was around that and time. Ronda went crazy. Isn't that weird? Do you ever think about that? Yeah. Ronda went crazy because she lost. I mean, like, yeah, you ever think about... Like, she got sour and contemplated suicide because she lost a fight. I mean, It's I, weird, I'm, man. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't put myself in her shoes by any means. I, I mean, can't. You, you can. You've played sports. You can't, sure, you but, can't I, but you I've can't put it at that achieved. level, but you can still put it as it's a competition. Sure, you can you can take perspective and you know and the whole analyze the situation from your experience own. is we get back on the horse. Fuck yeah, dude! We don't say fuck horseback riding. You just get back on the horse. That's the only option. Yeah, and and I agree with that mentality. But at the same point, to kind of play devil's advocate from that perspective is when you have as many fucking people's eyes on you and as many people's opinions being given to you. Even from people that you respect, and they're saying, she's done, you know, you're done, be done, you know? And she maybe didn't want to be, 
you know what I'm saying? Like, where do you do? What do you do with that mentally? It depends who you are. Yeah, <clears throat> exactly. And that's what I'm saying. A lot of people think that these athletes and these people in high places are fucking mentally, you know, invincible. They think they think and know that they're the shit, and nothing can ever, you know, keep them down. A lot of times, they're young kids. In their yeah, mentally, sure. They've never been through trials. Early twenties. Well, Ronda was fucking well established. She's won multiple championships prior to her UFC career. You know what I mean? Like she was well established as a fucking I mean, athlete. She got, yeah, third of the Olympics. Well, I'm saying judo champion. She was a multiple. Yeah, uh, but third in the Olympics. Sure. I'm, I'm not knocking. I mean, shit, bro. I don't have a fucking. But she was title. the first American to podium in judo for judo. Yeah, yeah. American female. That's impressive. Either yeah. way, and that's what I'm saying. It's like she was already well established, and to just fucking skyrocket her even further—that's what's then, strange to me. Yeah, but either way, we're fucking way on a different fighter. But Paige Van Zant is not Ronda Rousey. <laughs> that's for damn sure. But either way, so how, how could Paige, you know, hang in there every time she fucking loses? Oh, right? dude, she didn't. She didn't even have really much of a background in fighting prior to. Being brought on because Ronda's UFC. right now is probably still a way better fighter than Paige Van Zandt. Oh, one thousand percent! I guarantee you, if Ronda Rousey jumped into the octagon with Paige Van Zandt, she would mop the floor with her. I think that's a fucking safe bet. Yeah, they weren't even in the same fucking division though. Either way, but I don't know. I don't give a shit. I don't know. I'm just I saying. Pay attention to that. But anyway, Jessica Andrade, Rose, Namahunyas. fun fight. Dude. I mean, it went how the first fight should have went. Sure. Them too, right? Yeah. Just none of the bullshit happened. Jessica Andrade still fucking hits hard, bro. You saw Rose after the fight. Oh, she got touched she up. She got fucked up, bro. Yeah. They both did. I mean, obviously Rose won the fight from a technical standpoint, but still, I think Jessica Andrade has a future in that division and will have the belt at one point because from That's my what I'm perspective... Saying. If she sticks around, why yeah. wouldn't she stick around? Unless Rose Namahunyas, I mean, from her history, man, the mental side of it Again, man, she's not in it all the time. You know what I mean? She struggled with it. I don't think she beats Zhang Weili. Rose? Right. I agree. I think Zhang Weili has the discipline and the mental fucking... I think she hits way harder. Well, that that's debatable, though. You know what I'm saying? Rose fucking hits hard, bro. Like, I'm not I'm not going to knock Thug Rose. She's fucking has knockout power for sure, and she could catch her. But it's at the end of her combinations. Right. You're you're saying Zhang Weili is consistently powerful. She can hit you with one and put you to sleep. Yeah. Um. So you, I don't know, man. I think I need to watch more film of her and really kind of dissect and see how she she wh- just beats people up. Sure. But I'm saying so did Thug. She is like a when Thug's more of a fucking. I'm gonna stand up and fucking I'll touch you. I'll, I'm gonna throw my hands at you a few times. But I feel like not. I might lately. eat one, like, but I'm gonna her- hit you with three. When she's debating, when she's defending her belt, she's pretty fucking aggressive. She's trying to go out and fucking knock somebody. At least from, the, she got, yeah, I feel like you always are. Yeah, you know, but not. But but do you other got people it? like Connor and like Amanda Nunez, they like to go out and just wait, let you show them what their fucking game plan is, and just fucking okay, let's ride it out to the fucking championship rounds and see what you're made of. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, dude. The best example of that is fucking I mean, Valentina. Oh, yeah. Shevchenko. Yeah, she's a, she's <laughs> she's a, a tactician. Counter, she's a counterpuncher. That's how yeah. she rolled. But I think Rose... Rose... Um, I don't know. Who do you think she fights next? Do you think she gets Zhang Weili next? No. Well... I think she gets another shot. I mean, she just beat the if girl they that don't... took the belt from her. Because Zhang Weili took the belt from Jessica But if Drush, they don't... She? Give no, she took it from uh, Joanna. Joanna. Joanna took it from. Yeah, yeah. Joanna took it from Jessica and Jessica Josh. Jessica and Josh. So that's what I'm saying. If they don't give Joanna the re- uh, the rematch, she's not. Joanna's still recovering, isn't she? No. No. She's fine. Is she able to fly? I don't know. With everything going on, I know that was part of the thing with Habib. That's Habib. why there's Fight Island. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess problem solved now, huh? Fuck. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Problem solved. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that was a fantastic fight. Excited to see what's next for both of them. 
Petra Jan Jose Aldo. Piotr. Piotr? Pet- I thought it was Petra. Piotr Jan. Piotr. I'm sorry. Let's say Peter. Peter. Peter? I think it's Piotr. Piotr. I like saying Piotr. Very Russian. It's, yeah. It's not Russian, though. <clears throat> oh, it's not? No. I think he's Serbian. <laughs> Russian. No, I know. He fights with uh, Tiger Muay Thai out of fucking Thailand. Oh, you know. Those crazy bastards. You just let me prove myself wrong. Yeah, no, I know. It's okay. You didn't have to say. You could have just rolled with what I said. I know, but I I like to trust but verify. That's different. What's different? I wasn't calling you a liar. Trust but verify is... We both know the answer, but I'm still going to look. Even though you just told me what it was? No, I trust I trust that you told me he was from Russia, but I'm going to verify that he's from Russia. Yeah. On the internet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I did. Internet is a cool thing. Jose Aldo needs to be retired, though. He does. I mean, I think they kind of did the same thing with BJ Penn. I don't think he beats Piotr. I don't know who beats Piotr. You want to yeah. pull up that... Pull up the fucking... I think Cejudo Who's comes back. Piotr? Uh, no. Nah, Cejudo's done. Who's Piotr fight? I don't have my... Oh no, that's uh, Volkanovski. Volkanovski and Cejudo. <laughs> Both. Oh yeah, because he could... He was bantamweight champ, huh? What was the other direction? I don't remember either. Fuck. Uh... A little day drinky. Yep. Ain't nothing wrong with anybody. Never heard anybody, which well, is false. We need more. We need more fact checkers on our show. No, fuck them. <laughs> we need Jeremy to be our Jamie. Check the facts. Jeremy, come be our Jamie. Watch this episode or listen to this episode, and then text me. Okay, I'll be your Jamie. Three three one nine. What? Two two five five. Three three one nine. Two two five five. Two two five five. Is that our number? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> Alexander Volkanovsky and Max Holloway, I feel like... Uh, Do you need another beer? 100% was uh, stolen away from Max Holloway. That's how everybody feels. Yeah. Really. The internet, the world, the sure. UFC. Sure, but I think... <clears throat> well, it goes back to what we were talking about the other night, is uh, scoring needs to be fucking changed. Yeah. Well, wasn't uh, Big John McCarthy was saying that even, you know, based on what he th- he saw, and he's somebody that fucking helped write the rules for the UFC as far as judging goes. I mean, he said Max Holloway won the fight. So, I mean, where do we go from there? Something you got to get people in there who, <clears throat> you know, yeah, who are fighters, who fucking know the sport. Definitely, that's one. Well, that know, know with the value of what's being done in the octagon and how to judge it. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. It's not just a spectator sport. This is very much a practitioner sport as well. You know what I'm saying? Like people that actually train without having to get into the competition of things appreciate this sport without actually, you know, competing. It should have sense. more scoring opportunity. Sure. It's it's like <clears throat> it's like uh ah, there's really nothing like it, honestly, man. And that's why it needs. But you can its break own. it. You can break it into. It's weird to me. It's always been weird to me how you can get points for a takedown, but not points for. But the guy who got taken down can't get points for standing up or a reversal. Sure. Right? Or transit. Like transitioning is not a part of judging whatsoever. Right. If you go from guard to half, half if, guard. Yeah. To full or if mount. you. Or if you're. In or if somebody is, those in should your be points. Guard, those should be huge points. Exactly. If somebody's in your guard and you fucking switch the transition to you being in side mount, then you get fucking points for that. Yeah. From my perspective, and that's it's that way in jujitsu. It's that way in jujitsu competitions. It's that way in judo competitions. Like wrestling. Why can't fucking... this sport be more intricate when it comes to judging? I don't. I don't know why the complexity those... of it is lacking, and that's just. The way it is. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So 
That's that's our take on that. I mean, Volkanovski obviously is a good fighter, and I'm not taking anything away from him. It was definitely a good no. fucking scrap. Yeah. But I think Holloway I think definitely... Max won the first three, and then Volkanovski took the last two. Yeah. But that doesn't win And you for fight. anybody that thinks that the fucking championship rounds cost or are worth more in judging, that's silly. If you're in a championship fight, you're training for a championship fight. You know what I'm saying? If you're right. training for a three round fight, that means you can have less stamina so you can pack more power into your you And know he knows he has to knock him out to win. hundred percent. It has it has everything to do with it. As as Weird. far as as far as like from the get go, both people understand that it's five rounds and they have to condition for it. Yeah, I hope that's not what happened. But I don't know. It's like, oh look look how much better they conditioned you know what I'm saying? It's like, there's people that go and train and are in fucking camp that do fucking 10, 15 minute rounds. Like, they go and do that shit. With fresh dudes. Yeah. Every round. Yeah, and that's what they do for the day for training. Uh-huh. And it's like, okay, cool, it's different, yeah, real world, but in reality, it's like, the body is still outputting that amount of, you know, physicality, however, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And out, you know, exerting those calories. And it's still going to fucking affect you. So I think that why does it need to be a part of, you know, the point system? You know what I mean? I don't think, I hope they don't. I hope it, I don't know if it's ever been confirmed that the championship rounds way more. But I feel like and that's constantly us. fucking talked about, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's oh just yeah, it's like a for it's a thing. But I don't know if it's uh, a yeah. in the rules. Yeah, I doubt it. Well, if it was in the rules, then nobody would be able to, you know, argue it, right? And yeah. that's the reason it's up for debate. Exactly. So I guess it's not in the rules. So what the fuck, people? I've always said fuck the rules. You know? Yeah, that's what Forget I say. Them. Fuck the rules. Rules are meant to be broken. Um. Kamaru Usman and Jorge Masvidal. Um, props to Jorge. Yeah. Dude, for real. Six days notice, taking that fight. Um, I still think they promoted it well, too, for as short as it was. You know what I mean? They still fucking got some beef going back and forth. Not that there wasn't fucking shit prior. They've been, yeah, they've been hyping that fight yeah. for a minute. It, there's, there was definitely plenty of footage to be able to make, you know, a campaign behind after the papers were signed. Yeah. But still, I think that, you know, both of them as um, personalities in the sport, and, you know, martial arts practitioners, like, I think that that was probably one of the more hyped main events that I've had, you know, in the past fucking couple of months, man, honestly. Like, I like those kind of scraps where there's actual fucking personal involvement in it. I miss that. That's why I want Connor to come back. You know, definitely. But I, I, I do think that Jorge gets another shot. Or do you think he goes and fights somebody else? You think the uh, Darren Till fight is still on? Or no, that's a uh, uh, Perry. Sorry. No. Um, Till's fighting Robert Whitaker soon. Oh, I thought I Perry say. and Till wanted to fight. Just because they want to fight doesn't mean they are. Oh, I fighting. thought they were. I thought they were building something to make. Nah, it. bro. Mike Perry's like. I don't know. Darren Till's like a top five fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Mike Perry's like maybe 10. Really? Yeah. I don't know what his rank is, but I, I just love all the, the banter that I would it fucking oh, yeah, Darren Till guess. made a, a website or some shit about Mike Perry or vice versa. No, he just said he was going to raw dog his girl. No, no, no. There's a whole, there's a whole fucking website that Darren Till created about Mike Perry. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. And yeah, some silly, you know, fucking social media war shit that they're creating to try to make a, a fight, but I don't know. I think... Uh, no, I don't think Till. He shouldn't care. People are talking about Jorge <clears throat> wanting to uh, scrap with um, Diaz. No, Jorge will get Pi Woodley. You think? Yeah, they've been... Woodley's wanting to fight. They've been wanting to fight each other for a minute. Them and Covington and yeah, I feel like Jorge's got a lot of people, but they, like I'm seeing the BMF rematch too, though. Sure. 
because that's that's a lot of money for Fight Island. You know what I mean? BMF belt on Fight Island. You know, the, and, and they wouldn't like have to do it on Fight Island. They wouldn't. No, but they could. I feel like everything isn't everything in Fight Island right now. Maybe I don't remember. I I just know it was it was for the international fighters to be able to get fights. Got it. Because they couldn't come to America. Okay, so Vegas is still on. As yeah, far if you've as got two Americans, is Stipe and DC. DC? I don't know where that's at. Fight Island? I don't know. I've never really known, you know, or given a shit. Yeah. Where fights are happening. No, not really. But I mean, it's for the fucking promotion of, you know, the fight and talking just about it on that's a podcast. Why I don't know. It's kind of nice, but. No, I'm just saying that's why I don't know. I've never really given a shit. No, I. I've never, I'm I've you. never really known. That's a weird, I'm just realizing it. It's a weird thing. Uh, 252. That's today. It doesn't even have no, a... Uh, August oh. 15th. It does have a day. Yeah, August 15th. Yeah. Stipe Miocic, <clears throat> Daniel Cormier, Junior Dos Santos, uh, Rosenstruik, um, Pedro Rosenstruik. Munoz, Sean O'Malley. That's all who's booked so far for that fight. Um, we have... It's a bit Holly away. Holm, August 1st, with Irene Aldana, Derek Brunson. That's who else. Uh, that's all who's on that card for the first. And then moving back... Um, we have Fight Night 174, which is the 25th, I think is next weekend, right? No idea. Numbers involved? Fuck. I yeah, next weekend. Immediately. Robert Whitaker, Darren Till. <clears throat> I forgot about that. I totally forgot about this fight, bro. Fuck yeah, okay, dude. Uh, I'm excited. Mauricio Rua and uh, Antonio Nogu- Noguera. What the fuck? Are we in like 2010? Um, when was the last time that fucking Antonio Noguera has fought? Bro, could I? I mean, he's done. Who can I, I fucking he's whatever. Tw- I'm I mean, not, there's zero hype behind that. Fucking zero. I'm just saying, it's nice. It's nice to see a familiar face. <laughs> there's so many new people in the UFC, right? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it's good to see him, man. He's he 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 needed a fight. He's gonna get paid. Yeah. You know, I like the No Gear Brothers. We'll see. It could be thirty seconds. Sure. And I'll be I'll be sad, but either way, still. That's usually how that paycheck. goes. Yeah, those old dudes. Uh, Alex they get in there for a paycheck and they're fucking gone. Yeah, isn't he? Is he still at? Where is he? Heavyweight. He's a heavyweight. Yep. He's a heavyweight. When's he? When's that fight? Uh, next weekend, Saturday, July twenty fifth. Oh, going back to Rhinos. I'm fucking stoked for they that. They get a redemption for their fucking hot wings. No, they don't. You're gonna do them right out the gate. Oh, yeah, we're going to fucking go in there and say, hey, last time, you guys' is fucking hot as hot wings were not hot. And then they're going to fucking blow us up, probably. But that's okay. Matt will be with us. Um, Carla Esparza and Marina Rodriguez. Don't know either of those fighters. Carla Esparza. She'd been around for a minute. Oh, yeah. No, I yeah, I've seen her before. I recognize her. Sorry. Um, Paul Craig. Oh, my God. Can't say his name. Godzim... Godzimirad Antigulov. Wow. Really? Not even gonna. You could even give it a whirl if you wanted. I don't even really know what you just said. Yeah, it's a name. Um, Alex Oliveira and Peter Sabota for the next weekend. And then, uh, oh yeah, we got uh, today Joe Benavides, old Megan Olivi's hubby, fighting uh, Devson Figueiredo. Don't know how to say it. But anyway. Um, definitely gonna check those fights out tonight at six. Hopefully that dude makes weight. Uh, F- Figueredo. Yeah, last time he was like six pounds over. Oh wow, wow, that's a lot of weight. Has a bunch of weight, yeah. and then he won too. Could have been the champion. Jesus. Well, so now it's a rematch, but it was a good fight last fight. I remember that, so um, it'll be fun. Well, um. That's pretty. Oh, uh, Kelvin Gastelum fights tonight too. Yeah, Jack Herman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that'll be a be a pretty good fight, I think. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stoned. Anyway, moving on. We got some. Uh, we got some cool stories coming up. Kind of segue off of the UFC stuff of the day. Um, crazy shit going on. Bro. I feel like work just got over. What? I, feel, I said I feel like work just got over. Yeah, it's like oh. Take off my boots. Yeah, let me hang out for a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke. I'm gonna smoke now. Hold on. Yeah, there's plenty of weed in there for sure. I don't know if it's cherried. Actually, it looks like there's a lot of smoke.
Da, 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 da. You can hear that thing being sat on the table. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's like fucking Eolnir. I am yeah. worthy. Another. Fucking smash the bottom. It hits hard floor. always, too. There's still plenty of weed in there. Yeah, you definitely gotta fucking pull that motherfucker hard to get all the smoke out. Should we get another beer in you? Yeah. In us? Um, speaking of beers, man, we got some fucking local. I can get us some of... beers if you want to keep chatting. Yeah, grab grab uh, one of those. You got some beer? I see some fucking blueberry oh, yeah, lemonade yeah, shandy. Yeah, blueberry lemonade shandy. That's uh. He still got a little. Look at this guy over here. Saga Tuck Sa- Saga Tuck Brewing Company, out of I believe. Kansas City. I believe, I believe, I believe. It doesn't say. Um, here's to happy. I don't know where this is brewed at. D- Dylan? Um, yeah. Uh, not a fucking clue. Saugatuck t- Sow- Brewing Company. <laughs> Don't know where they're from. Awesome. They have a fucking really good blueberry lemonade shandy. It's Kill that. Huh? Kill that. Okay. If you want to fucking kill a bag of sunflower seeds by the pool oh, and uh you know drink uh dubious amounts of uh Twelve fluid ounces of uh, beer. That's a good. It's a good choice. If you ask me. Dude, you this know? sounds like a good day. Blueberry lemonade shandy. It doesn't taste very lemonadey, honestly. It's uh, it's, it's pretty refreshing. Of, it honestly. It's like a little sprite. It reminds like, me of eating like blueberry muffins for breakfast. It's like a. It's like a carbonated blueberry muffin. That's what I would say it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Not a bad yeah, description. Then, um, we, we, we got a little sixer here. Um, the the second one that we tried was... No, that was that was the third one that we tried. The blueberry lemonade was the last one that we had. The second one that we had was uh, by Tivoli Brewing Company in Denver, Colorado. Local. Denver Co. Um, it's a Hefenweizen. Um, it's the Mile High Hefe. It's pretty good. I I thought it was. I don't know. What'd you think? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, we we did. We kind of killed all, three beers in a row trying to get set up and you know get in the mood to fucking record. Honestly, but I think. Uh, oh, I remember it being surprisingly fresh because. Oh yeah, you said it kind of had that like sarsaparilla. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. what you said. And it, I didn't want it. To, uh, Hefe, right? It reminds me of hoppy fucking beer. Yeah, I think when I think of Hefeweizen, I think of German beer. I think yeah. of like super, like thick, uh, almost oatmeal, oatmeal like beer. Yeah, you could drink it for breakfast. It could be, be it could solid. be warm. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's a mead lager kind of. For me, yeah. For me, I think it's a little thick for like a, a you know daily drinker, but. Overall, I think the taste was good. It's good. It's good beer. Great. If you like, if you like German beer, I would definitely go with the the Mile High Hefe from Tivoli. And it looks cool. Sure. Yeah. Their their packaging is dope. I think it's a really. I think it's just a sticker. Yeah. It's just a sticker around. Oh, the really? Yeah. Oh, I see it now. It's like a mat. It's like a mat sticker. I don't like it anymore. Yeah, it's not as cool. Nope, looks kind of cheap. Anyways, moving on. First beer we had. Um, we had. Uh, Abita Brewing Purple Haze Raspberry Lager out of uh, Albita Springs, Louisiana. Clouds of real raspberries swirl in this tart and tantalizing lager. It was really fucking good. I like the word tantalizing. Tantalizing? Yeah. 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 Purple it's a Haze. Cool word. The, the bottle was intriguing. It made me think of, obviously, Jimi Hendrix. Jimmy. Yeah, so I grabbed it. And, dude. This was this is my favorite one so far. <coughs> the purple Excuse haze. Me. It was delicious. I it was enjoyed like, it. We we both tried it and it was like, what the fuck? This is yeah. good. Didn't like, remind I'm, me of beer. Well, it wasn't. It didn't remind me of what a fruit beer. Yeah. Usually is. Usually yeah, right. fruit beers are kind of tart. 
sour and not pleasant. No, it's fucking not. Fucking hate them. No, it's not something that it, it, we. It was a perfect. It was a perfect. What's well, not a cider? Yeah, chuggable is what you said. Yeah, I think that's the that's the perfect phrase to to give that. So w- haze. you could put that on a scale. If you had like three things, like chuggable would be. Chuggable. It's like MythBusters. They Chug- don't really. It's not really on a spectrum. They just mean different things. You know. Is it chuggable? Is it chuggable? Yes. Because if it isn't, it isn't. Yeah, sure. It's like the 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 jefe, not chuggable. Right. Me. Not a chuggable beer. Um, we also had, I think I threw it away, the Colorado Native. I think there's only one more in there. There's one more in there, yeah. There is, yeah. But I crushed the can. It's not It's not over here anymore. Oh. Yeah, it's oh, the yeah. Odell, Odell Brewing Company Colorado Native, or Colorado Lager. Colorado Lager. Yep. Whatever. That's what it is, bro. Here's the I'm one where Slurping on that one was good too, and then Ooh, it's uh, a Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn we got summer a we got a New York beer over here. Brooklyn summer ale, Brooklyn you know, pale they're, they're seasonal, brewed by it. the Brooklyn Brewing hey, Company of the U- Utica, New York. You know, it's good stuff. Nice, you know, Salancha. Ah, uh, Schlanta. You know, get the nice pale blue can with the yellow and red. Stands out nice. Get a little sip, dude. That's how that's how it's supposed to taste. That's how it should taste. So good. Oh, yeah. That's good. It's good stuff. Oh, yeah. Brooklyn Summer Ale. I could get it. You seasonal. can get Yeah. That's a... That's a... That's a chuggable. It's definitely a chuggable. <laughs> yeah, you'd have a good time getting oh. fucked up on these. Oh, yeah. These are... Uh, fun. Good beers. 5 No shit. Dude, no. that was like a... The like tone of that, decibel. yeah, the tone of that was so oh, smooth throughout. It was almost like a dirig- didgeridoo. It was almost like a didgeridoo. Wee, wee, wow. What's the difference, really? I don't know, man. No, no idea. Pat, love, love. Yeah, and passion. more passionate in dirig- didgeridoo. I think. I think so. Because you're trying to summon rain, aren't you? I don't know. Fucking, I don't know. I don't know. Ask the Aborigines. They created them, didn't they? As far as I believe. As far as you believe. <laughs> as far as I've been told. You know. Yeah. I only know what I've been told. Yeah. As far as I assume. <laughs> yeah, as far as I assume. <laughs> I can assume anything. That's, that's, well, as far as I assume. That's the perfect uh, new phrase. That's the 2020 phrase of the year. As far as I can That's assume. the 2020 phrase of the year. That's another juicy contradiction. You're a juicy contradiction, boy. Jeez. You're Scotch Korean. <laughs> Scotch. Yeah. Sc- you remember those? You remember those Bro, Starburst commercials? Fuck yeah! No, they were Skittles. <laughs> no, Starburst. Are you sure? Yeah. They're juicy and sweet, and they're juicy yet solid, <laughs> like a liquid. <laughs> yeah, it's a straw. It's a Starburst commercial. I promise you. I believe you. Yeah. Skittles has some. I have that. Too. You know me, bro. I have that weird fucking Rain Man. My favorite quote. Skittles commercial is the kid who has the Skittle box you know, under the bleachers. <laughs> <with> the, <laughs> yeah, and she picks and it she off his them. face. She picks it off his face and eats it. And she's like, "Is it contagious?" And he's like, and it mm. pans back to her full of it. And he's like, ah, "I don't think so." <laughs> <laughs> I love. I, I love don't candy. think so. Yeah, those are great. Oh man, this is depressing. I just fucking uh, popped this up on the computer. Colorado governor issues statewide mask mandate. But here's the thing: if you have a pre-existing breathing condition, you don't have to have, wear a mask. And with the guidelines of HIPAA, yeah, how can you ask? How you can't can you figure ask that out? Yep, exactly. So there you go. Educate Fuck yourself. You. You don't have to wear a mask if you don't want to. Just say you have a freaking but- breathing condition. But to, to, to get and your breathing condition can be, hey, I need, I require oxygen. <laughs> yeah, that's my condition. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't want a fucking mask over my face. But in all reality, like, is it that big of a deal? You know what I mean? Still, to get into places, you probably have to wear. Sure, a mask. and I'm not, I'm not fucking gonna, you know, puff. Oh, you're impeding my rights. Yeah, it's like no, we're we're like when you're in closer, you know, proximity with people, and there's a rise in fucking cases, like. I'm okay with wearing a mask when we're inside the fucking hospital. Or a, ma- a mask store. is for you to not affect others. Sure. If yeah. you fucking sneeze or if you go... 
and you fucking get a little bit of spit somewhere, you gotta fucking, you know, have that fucking mask on so it keeps the droplets from getting on other people, you know? I do know. It's a small, stupid, fucking nonchalant thing that we can't see physically, but in all reality... Hopefully. Who knows? Fucking... Hopefully it makes a difference. It's it's Matt Matt McCann. What did you call him? The Wing King. The Wing King. Ooh, I think he's gonna like that. The Wing King. He. Uh, I don't. It's you and him in the running right now. Because I don't know anybody else oh, that can do man. heat like that. Well, can Paul do heat like that? Paul seems like a guy. That no, can you do know heat who like really that. can. Uh, your dad. No. 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 I feel like your dad would like hot food. The only, y- yes, but the only reason, not crazy hot. Oh, no. But he does make, like, his chili, chili hot. Ooh, yeah, that's They ask good. him why. Mm-hmm. He says he's been smoking for fucking 50 <laughs> years. Yeah. So he's that's like, it's the only thing I can taste. So. <laughs> I love my dad. He's so fucking funny. No, Kozel does hot shit easy. I Better still, than anybody I've ever Dude, met. I still have yet to meet Kozel. Just saying. He's 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 my mysterious friend that I still am friends with, but have never met. The internet. Yeah, bro. Seriously, it's like I know him. I mean, I do, but I've never met him. Yeah. I want to party with him. That would be a good time. It would be. Yeah. We should head up to Montana. Is that where he's at? Him and Alec. Oh, fucking a, bro. Let's a, take a road buddy trip. Of ours. Let's take a road trip. Road trip. It's ten hours from us. I know Cody's up there. Exactly. That's yeah. yeah. Cody's up there. Dude. That's a good little trip right there. Next weekend. Um, If I have a fucking Friday and Saturday off and Emily's cool with me abandoning shit for a couple of days, I'm down. <laughs> but, hey man, fucking married life. And she's in her internship. It's been fucking crazy. But she's grinding. We have this uh, next tab here. Um, can psychedelics actually help us communicate with aliens? Oh, they sure can. You believe that? I think... Truly? Truly? Truly. You honestly Ooh. believe that? I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know fucking truly. I don't fucking know. I have no idea. I believe it. <laughs> I'll, I'll believe it? Yeah, I'll believe it. I'll hear you. Here, Here's my perspective. Since utilizing cannabis as Mm. a medicine, I've been more inquisitive on certain aspects of things that a lot of people, I think, don't pay attention to because we get so consumed with... Because it's illegal. Well, not only... It's right in front of it. You're looking for the lighter? Yeah. Um... So yeah, I think, I don't know. Well, you're talking about mushrooms. Why are mushrooms illegal? Right? <clears throat> and how many how how many crazy things are going to come out of mushrooms that should have been discovered 20 years ago? Well, I think a lot of people having that access to different perspective is what's challenging to society. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, a lot of people are stuck in their little fucking path. They get in their rut, and they stay in their little rut because it's comfortable. If you go to, if you go, oh, change is hard. Yeah, exactly. Unless you, unless you fucking go balls to the wall and fucking full send that motherfucker, you're not going to get out of that rut. You know what I mean? I do. And that's why I think, from my perspective and from my experience, psychedelics and you know marijuana and a lot of these, uh, you know, psychedelic medicines have the ability to broaden perspective and if that means bringing the notion that we're not fucking alone here you know what i mean it's like yeah scientifically and statistically it's probably fucking true that we're not alone you know what i mean it's probably more true that we're in a simulation whoa <sighs> take the red pill follow the white rabbit. did the aliens give us the drugs in the first place i like the theory of whoa look at my shirt yeah something was smoked. Oh, I want to believe. I want to believe. I'm wearing my UFO shirt today. I That's like funny. the theory of um, that we're just a evolution experiment of like sped up to see what happens to monkeys. 
<laughs> if we speed up and if aliens drop by and they and this in 2020 is the year, the way they go, hey, the experiment is fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, let's trash this. Yeah, this was. <laughs> let's this was restart cool, again. But they decided to. It's like, let's get do the Egyptian crazy. thing again. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are way smarter. Dude. Fuck, bro. That's funny. That's a funny thought. But really, bro. Can I can I can I tell you something? What if I said no? I'm gonna tell you anyway. Yeah. So this uh this past week or no, last week before last. You know I've been working freaking super early. Yeah. Waking up at like three o'clock in the morning, being at work at four thirty. Uh huh. And uh the drive is dark, you know, sun's not up yet. So and I'm pretty tired, obviously. But obvi- you know, I'm fucking awake. I'm pretty alert. I'm not that type of person that I'm a a zombie when I wake up, you know? Right. Because I was in the military. I have to be able to function as soon as I open my eyes, you know? So, not this past week, but the week before, every fucking day that I leave my apartment, and as soon as I pull out onto the street that fucking goes out and turns to take me out to uh, academy to go to work, right? Right. As soon as I hit the front of the apartment complex, about, I would say, 25 to 30 degrees, you know, from my eyesight up, there's a fucking bright-ass fucking light. Okay. Right? And I see it every day. Every day in the week, uh, throughout the It's week. just a street light? No. It's in the sky. Oh. It's in the sky, about fucking, like... About 30, 30 degrees up. It's not quite 45 degrees like where the moon is, you know, at 4.30 in the morning. And I know for a fact that, you know, during the summertime, you can see, like, a certain planet right below the moon. Like, I'm pretty celestially, Venus you know, understanding. Fucking likes to Sure, yeah. Sure, and, yeah. And then there's different planets that you can see throughout different times in the year. You also get lights on the mountain. Sure, 100%. That look but like this is facing east. Yeah. This is going... You know, eastbound, and it's at a thirty degree angle, bro. Like it's definitely noticeable in the sky. Is and it there's every nothing day? else every day, dude. Film it. I, I, I don't know why I haven't filmed it. <laughs> I say I, 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 yeah, I don't have any fucking excuse as to why I haven't. But it's just like Rogan just had on two dudes that he usually has on about. I like they were talking about Skinwalker Ranch, I, dude. I feel crazy, bro. Like, I feel like I'm a crazy person because it, the, the motherfucker is there when I'm driving to work. Like, it's like it's following me. Maybe it really maybe it really is. And I feel like I'm going crazy. And that's why maybe I haven't filmed it because I don't want to be filming something. And then people are like, yeah, it's just fucking... It's a planet. No, nah, just film it. How big is it in the sky? It looks like a stadium. Like, not like the like, whole row. Like, use your Oh, dude. Like describe like the bottom of a fucking oh beer can, no. Nope. The bottom of a beer can. Smaller, bigger, larger. Uh, or is it like a star? It's like a fucking star in the sky. But right? bigger than a star. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just. Either way, I'm questioning it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could have kept going with that. What do you I, was, mean? I don't know. I'm I'm still going. What do you mean? But anyway, the uh, fucking whole communicating with aliens is not something that I think is necessarily um, scientifically backed up just yet. (laughs) You know what I mean? But. No, that's what I was saying earlier, though. Like, how fucked up would it be if you figure out that through mushrooms... Oh, yeah, dude. That's Sure. Know. Yeah, and I mean, that's super far-fetched and sounds like super sci-fi-ish, but in all reality, it's like but we could have known more this of this shit fucking is years becoming ago, more reality right? than what we but thought it would ever would. you know, drugs. Said, this mushroom is illegal. Yeah, because they already had like a pre-existing well, knowledge you can't, that, you it, can't, that you it would can't. bring us that enlightenment. No, no, I'm just, no. I don't know why they... Well, there's got to be a a reason that they banned it to begin with. 
they well they probably thought it it was gonna make the citizens dumb or whatever. So you think they be didn't, harmful? So you didn't your, think they had an understanding of it? Brain. No, they still don't because we couldn't. That's the whole point. Is See, you're just we're just now figuring out because they're just now releasing. Uh, being able to do studies on them. See, I'm, I'm, I'm different. I think it, a long time ago, we had the obviously the access to it's always been there. Anybody is able to fucking grow mushrooms. That's a theory too. And people fucking found it, and they were like, "What the fuck? This would fucking completely fuck up everything that we have right now, as far as everybody following the rules and making sure that we control." You know what I'm saying? Like from a deep state governmental perspective, it's like. Yeah, that could if we have been give a good these reason. people drugs like this, they're gonna find out. You know what I mean? Like they're gonna yeah. have a lot more enlightenment and a lot more um, wokeness. Yeah, it's a terrible way to put it, but they have a lot more um, uh, want for knowledge. You know what I'm saying? They want to question more things. Once you do something like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It's human nature automatically to want to question things Uh obviously but those psychedelic drugs make you question things more because it gives you more perspective because it's like you think you know but then this completely fucking shows you different it's like you don't know you're there until you're there but the there that you're in now is still the there that you were in before but the perspective is different you know look at how much shit we know more now yeah than we did two years ago four years ago yeah, it's insane, bro. Mushrooms could be the key to to world what peace. anything to world oh, peace. Oh, sure, yeah, world peace for peace, real, bro. That's peace, su- such a fucking stupid notion to make. You know, it sounds like such a hippie thing to say. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it really is. Like it's it. It's a medicine that really could fucking almost change the world, like a lot of other things have. You Five know? grams. 10 grams of mushroom. Not even, bro. Do <laughs> do a gram. You know? Nah, I got deep it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just fucking throw somebody off the That's deep end. That's how change happens, yeah, bro. Yeah, I guess. Fucking. <laughs> That's how you break people. That's how you break people. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Fuck them dictators. Fuck them. 20 grams. See what happens. Yeah. Well, in other sports news before we wrap this motherfucker up, um, Washington football team is no longer called the Redskins. They're going to probably change it. Have they settled on a name? No, they haven't. But we we have some pretty good uh, alternatives. Um, Honestly, based on our conversation the other day, I vote that it changes to the Washington Warriors so that it stays with the Native American theme. You know what I mean? It's they get to keep the spear logo, Native American people that are associated with the Washington Redskin team and I love think the it'd fact be an that easy transition. Sure, why not, man? Yeah. It's not a racist term. I don't <laughs> you think know, so. and warriors are something that Warriors you know, are cool. Sure, it's a football team. It's a like football team pirates. name. Yeah. Yeah, Redskins. That's not a red that's not a football team name. Not anymore. It's a racist. It's a, it white skins? <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you switch it around, it ain't sound the same. It, it sounds... It ain't. It ain't sound the same. <laughs> no, it ain't. You're it right. Ain't. It really ain't. I also like Red Tails, though, just because of our military, you know, connection and the nod to the Tuskegee Airmen, and I think overall, culturally, that's a good move for the franchise. It looks I mean? cool. Fuck yeah. yeah. I think the logo's badass. The freaking the wings and the the helmet have the plane on it. Yes. Somebody do a badass freaking P fifty one Mustang or whatever. Ooh. You know what I mean? I do. I mean, or they do like the eyes with the teeth on the fucking. That'd be cool. Helmet. I mean, I don't know what they had on the front of their planes, but either way, or they do like uh, pinup girls. I don't know. That's probably not PC, but whatever. But I think that's what they definitely should do. Sure, I think In they should opinion. go with that vibe. That's definitely Pin pro up. America. I like America. I like America too, bro. But yeah, they got they got some other ones. Red Hogs, uh, Red Hawks, um, like the bird. And then they have this stupid freaking wolf scarf logo. Completely rebranding the franchise, not even sticking with the same colors. The Red Wolves. I don't like it. But 
Anyway, they had a they had a bunch of other uh, new team name recommendations. An odd shark tweeted out uh, presidents, generals, Lincoln's, Americans, kings, memorials, capitals. This all sounds very uh, constitutional to me. Um, yeah, might as well call them the freaking Washington forefathers. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like, I do. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, <clears throat> these are Excuse honorable me. mentions. Yes, honorable, but I don't think it's uh, they, they the did. fitting of a football team. You know what I mean? Who wants to be called the Lincoln? Yeah, I'm a part of the Lincoln. Are you even excited to watch football? No, man. Honestly, I'm more. I, I'm really excited for hockey. Fuck August yeah. 1st. I don't think hockey will suffer without fans. No, not at all. The fans are great either way. With or without? Sure. Yeah, I could. I don't care about the fans at all. Football would be weird because there's a fucking shitload of them. Sure, there's a shitload of people in the stands for hockey, but they don't pay attention to them. It's not really much of a involved spectator sport. They yeah. involve the fans a lot in NFL and NBA games, especially courtside. Very for true. NBA. You know very, what I'm saying? Very true. Especially, and we talked about this a couple episodes ago. They them introducing the plexiglass into the NBA that would completely change courtside seats. Yeah, what's the point of them? Yeah, now? Jack Nicholson's not going to go fucking sit on no the fucking in between plexiglass. No, yeah, hell, 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 no. Who else, who else? Who else goes to fucking watch uh, Lakers games? Jack Nicholson, fucking Leonardo DiCaprio, those, those motherfuckers. They're going to be in the fucking box upstairs. They're not going to sit courtside anymore. Wearing a mask. Yeah, wearing a mask. <laughs> having having freaking fish fl- flown over from... Having some fucking... Halibut. Bats flown over from China. They can eat. Don't do that. Yeah, don't eat bats. But anyway, folks, uh, this about wraps up our fucking episode. Our fucking episode. Wow, sorry. I've had a little bit to drink. <laughs> I get a little uh, feisty. I, your Irish comes out. Yeah, the fucking Irish comes out. But we're uh, we're glad to have uh, a consistent uh, couple of bits that we're gonna keep going with. This uh, beer review thing is something that I'm a fan of. I think we could get some uh, local breweries out here to fucking throw us some Sixers. Maybe we could review their beers and give them some love. That'd be fun. Yeah. If it's good. Yeah, if it's good. If your beer sucks, we're going to tell, tell, tell you it's bad. Well, I can't. Yeah. yeah. I can't lie. No. Yeah. My nose grows. Did you oh, know that? Oh, you like Pinocchio. Have you Who? ever heard of him? What? What'd you say? Pinocchio? No, I don't know. Pinocchio. Is that like a car? It's a person. Well, From kind Japan? of. We'll get into it. Later. Okay, we'll yeah, get into the next episode. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for uh, thanks for watching episode twenty four of the Ears of the Dog Show. Um, once again, thank you to New View Pharma and RM Extracts for their amazing medicine and customer service and amazing deals every day, every god damn day. There is a deal. There every is a deal day. at New View Pharma. So, um, once again, catch us on rtfsportsnetwork.com every Monday at 6 and Thursday at 8 p.m. And uh, also make sure to check out all of our buddies in RTF Sports. We are live 24-7. We got something going on every day, every minute, every hour, every second. So thank you. We will see you guys next week. Airs the dog out. Later.